Microphone, good, all right. And he walks into the scene, looks at the camera, he walks towards the camera. Okay, so, so each year on May 29th, something kind of cool happens in New York City. People in Manhattan, they, they crowd into the streets at sunset to see something called Manhattan Henge. And this is where the sun lines up with the city's grid in the west, and the sun, it appears to set between the city's skyscrapers. People block traffic, everybody tries to get a photo, it looks kinda chaotic, honestly, and I haven't seen this in person myself, but it sort of got me thinking over the last few years. Can we see the same thing here in Montreal? And if so, do we see it on the same day that they do in Manhattan each year on May 29th? Spoiler, we don't get the exact same effect here in Montreal where the sun sets in the west and lights up our downtown buildings. And it doesn't happen on the same day, May 29th. In fact, directions in Montreal are, are, are kind of weird. If you live here, or probably worse yet, if you visited here, you know that Montreal North isn't real north. The city is kind of kind of tilted in one direction. So we don't exactly have Manhattan Henge here in Montreal, but I found something kind of cool about Montreal North and what happens with the sun on the summer solstice here every single year. It's kind of like our own version of Manhattan Henge right here in Montreal. Whenever you hear the phrase Montreal North, I want you to think of this number, 303. When you look at a lot of maps of North American cities, you can see that the roads often line up north, south, and east, west. For example, if we look at a map of Edmonton, we can see the roads pretty much line up perfectly north, south, and east, west. So if you're in Edmonton and you tell somebody to go north, you're telling them the truth. But here in Montreal, if you tell somebody to head north, you're kind of lying to them. Let's look at a map of Montreal. When we put a compass on top of the map, we see the streets don't line up, they're tilted. And here, when somebody says to go north, they mean up and down the major streets like Park Ave, Saint Laurent, Saint Denis, Papineau, etc. But really that direction is not north, it's more northwest. Okay, so where does this 303 number come in? Well, let's take a closer look at a compass. We see the directions north, east, south, and west, but along the edges, we can see these numbers that start at zero and go all the way up to 360, which is the number of degrees in a circle. And this is a more precise way to tell somebody which direction to go. So north is zero degrees, East is 90 degrees, south is 180 degrees, and west is 270 degrees. And we can get super precise by telling people directions that are in between. So instead of saying northeast, we could say 45 degrees. Or instead of saying southeast, we could tell somebody go 135 degrees and so on. And basically, using these degrees on a compass lets you get really, really super precise. So you can tell somebody to go 194 degrees, which is more exact than telling somebody to go you know, a bit more south of southwest. So what is Montreal North in degrees? Well, if we put a compass on the map again, and instead of saying Northwest, which is a rough estimate, the precise direction of Montreal North is 303 degrees. So I'm walking up to the Belvedere Outremont. This is like the best sunset spot in the city uh, of Montreal, in my opinion. And we're going up there to look uh, at where the sun sets. So you probably know this rule of thumb uh, that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. But this is actually only true two days of the year. Uh, around March 20th on the spring equinox, and around uh, September 21st uh, for the autumn equinox. All the other days, the sun does not exactly rise in the east and does not exactly set in the west. And so I'm gonna take you to the lookout here, the Belvedere Outremont, and show you what happens all the other days of the year.
<clears throat> it's like a commercial. Okay, okay, so the sun appears to drift where it rises and sets throughout the year. And I'm gonna focus on the sunset looking west. On the autumn equinox in September, the sun sets exactly to the west. And each day after that, it appears to set more and more to the southwest. The days start getting shorter and the sun appears less high in the sky. We go through October, we go through November, and the days get darker and darker. And finally, we reach December 21st, the winter solstice. And on this day, we get the least amount of light. And this is the day that the sun sets its most southwest. After the winter solstice, the sun begins to slowly start setting more towards the west and the days start getting longer again. Eventually, it sets again exactly west on the spring equinox around March 21st. And that's when things in Montreal really start feeling good. The days start getting longer and the sun sets more to the northwest each and every day until around June 21st on the summer solstice. This is the longest day of the year and the most northwest that the sun sets on the horizon throughout the entire year. After this day, it slowly starts to recede again towards the west and we get less and less light each day until the sun sets exactly west on the autumn equinox. Belvedere Ujima is my favorite sunset spot in the city, and I often do workshops here during the summer uh, to teach people about the sunset and other things. And seeing the sunset change over time, moving northwest to west through the spring, through the summer, and through fall, uh, really makes the concept turn into reality. But what does any of this have to do with Montreal North? So we now know two things. First, we know that Montreal North is 303 degrees. And number two, you've now just seen that the sun sets near the northwest on the summer solstice in Montreal. And maybe you can finally see where I'm going with this entire video. During Manhattan Hinge, the sun is just above the horizon and you can see the entire disk of the sun a few minutes before it dips below the horizon. So, can we find the exact direction in degrees that the sun appears just above the horizon on the summer solstice from Montreal? Yes, we can. In this app, we can measure exactly where the sun is at any given time. And every year on the summer solstice, around June 21st, a few minutes before sunset, the sun appears just above the horizon, exactly over Montreal North, 303 degrees. We can see this in another cool way using a different app. It shows the direction of sunrise and sunset on a compass throughout the year. And around the winter solstice in December, the sun sets in the southwest. And as we approach the summer solstice in June, the sunset lines up with Montreal North. So that's kind of it. That's what I want you to walk away with from this video. In Montreal, on the summer solstice, the sun appears to line up with Montreal North. But I think there's one last cool thing to this story. The sun starts setting close to Montreal North around June 1st, and it sets every night in that direction until about mid-July. And you can notice this if you're walking or driving on Park Ave, Saint Laurent, Saint Denis, any road that points towards Montreal North. The sun shines directly on you. It lights up the entire street. Montreal North directs us to the start of summer. Montreal has a lot of flaws. We have infrastructure issues, we have long winters, we have endless construction. And the cherry on top of all that, what we call north isn't even truly north. But I hope this makes you look at our city a little bit differently. No longer seeing Montreal north as this silly, confusing thing about where we live, but rather looking at it as a beacon of light after such a long winter and something that gets you excited for the summer ahead. Three, two, one. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Jesus, sorry.
Big thanks to my Patreon supporters. These videos take a long time to make, and I think they're kind of interesting and cool, learning about space and astronomy using our city, Montreal, as a backdrop. If you want to become a supporter, you can go to patreon.com slash plateau underscore astro. Thank you so much. If you want to see more, that really helps. See you soon. Captain Quebec, Excuse me? Captain Quebec? Captain Quebec? Why? No, no, no. Have a channel, no. I do, yeah, yeah. What is it? Uh, Plateau Astro. Yes. I teach I've about. I've seen that too. Oh, okay. I was just. to you, man. Oh, awesome. What's your, what's your name? I knew I uh, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I was just wrapping up a video about how the sun sets in the direction of Montreal north during the solstice. So, Beautiful. so yeah, awesome. Thanks, Can't dude. Wait to see you. Yeah, no problem.